And new at 10, park in downtown Denver, and you're at the mercy of the parking lot police. And one local couple says they paid, and they still got a $75 parking ticket. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen did some digging. Jacqueline, you got some answers. That's right. You know, this couple paid $20 here at this parking lot on Stout. It's right next to the convention center, but they still got a ticket. They tell us they wanted to warn others. We wanted to help. Parking in downtown Denver doesn't come cheap. But Michael Ryan and his wife decided to splurge for a special night on the town. This is the receipt that uh, we placed on the dash. They paid 20 bucks to park and tried to enter their license plate number in the machine. The sign said use the last three digits of your license plate. But his last three digits are actually letters. The sign was was pretty confusing, but I, so I followed it literally. I just punched in the, the numbers that corresponded with my letters. So when they got back to their car. This was uh, stuck in the, the windshield right there. A $75 parking ticket for a wrong license plate right over the receipt showing he paid. He thought he could clear it all up by explaining what happened and giving proof. They wouldn't even listen to me. I mean, even telling them I have a receipt, I'll, I can send you a copy of the receipt. They didn't care. In this form email, the company, Parking Revenue Recovery Services, only offers to reduce the ticket to $55. It was an insult. So he called Denver 7 for help. We checked and he's not alone. The Better Business Bureau gives Parking Revenue Recovery Services a D grade after 173 complaints in the last three years. We contacted them, and while a spokesman says the license plate numbers were wrong, they wanted to resolve it, stating, We regret any inconvenience this may have caused Mr. Ryan. We have voided the original notice and will refund the parking fees paid. Yeah, you're very helpless. And and if you hadn't helped me out here, I mean, I didn't, don't think I had any other recourse. Still, Michael says this has been a frustrating lesson in going downtown. This really is just another reason not to go down. Now, a spokesman for Parking Revenue explains that some drivers pull into these lots and pass their receipts off, which is why they check those license plate numbers. Denver 7 investigated this company back in 2016 because of confusing signage, and that led to some changes. No word yet on if this will, but they say the signs here are clear. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Thank you.